Aloha, it's Matthew, and I have a video from Kailua here. I brought some uh, polishes with me. It's actually my first order from Polish Pickup. Um, currently on my nails, I have a five-day-old spirit fingers. Um, I painted them on Wednesday. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, sun yeah, Sunday, so five days. Um, there is some tip wear, like you can see right there, and you know, some grow out. But for the most part, this has held up stupendously. And um, as my top coat, I used KB Shimmer clearly on top. Um, so let's go over the polishes I bought and talk a little bit about what polish pickup is, if you don't know, and then I'm gonna swatch them out on some swatch sticks. Um, hopefully when I get back um, home, I can obviously put some of these on my nails and play with them there, but um, this is what we got on vacation. <laughs> I took this all this stuff with me and I packed it in my carry-on, so uh, it was a struggle to make everything fit. I'm here for a week. Um, so this one, okay, so Polish Pickup, if you haven't participated in it before, is a collection of indie polish makers, and it's kind of a pre-order thing. You go in, and there's a short window of time where you can browse the polishes prior to sales opening, and then um, you have a weekend to make your purchases, and then once the purchases are made then the companies, some of them at that point make the polishes and send them to the polish pickup headquarters, which then get mailed out to the buyers. So it isn't, uh, it's a little bit, it takes some time sometimes. And um, with all the snow and nasty weather from um, winter, the um, shipping got hung up on, on many ends. Uh, so let's, oh, and these are limited edition style polishes. Once they're not sold or once the, the sale window is closed, then, um, like KB Shimmer cannot sell this polish called Howl You Doin' on their website underneath that name. I think that they might be able to do it as like mysteries. I'm not quite sure on all of the rules yet. But um, this one truly caught my eye. It's a blue-purple shimmer with a ton of micro, hollow, scattered pinpoints in there. Um, it's a cobalt blue, but on the... Oh, here, let's take a look. <laughs> on the first coat, it's um, a little purple, right? Um, so a really cool thing I think about... Uh, polish pickup is that you can um, try out companies that you've either never heard of or maybe you've never tried their products and um, you can get a feel for their polish. You can take a look at their packaging. You can find out what kind of brush is in the bottle. See so this one, um, it's showing very blue on camera, but in person I see some um, translucent purple, but that's just the first coat. So I'm gonna set, hmm, I'm gonna put, this is not my table, so I don't wanna get any stains on it. Um, I'm gonna put that right there. Mm, is that what we wanna do? I think I'm gonna put it just right on the table, you guys. Don't let Christopher know if I end up getting polish on his nightstand. <laughs> um, so this one is Night Owl Lacquer, and I discovered them for the first time on this January's polish pickup. This is my orders from January, and it um, with the shipping delays and whatnot, it arrived the day before I left for my trip. So it arrived on January... 31st. So it was a little slow on that order, but um, not terrible, considering 
what goes into making it happen. Okay, so this night owl lacquer is described as a charcoal holographic. It's a linear holographic. And um, it has a pink shimmer in it. And my lighting is <laughs> what's here in the room. And I also packed my ring light. So let's hope this, uh, once we get a, a top coat on it, maybe it'll shine a little more. And a second coat. Um, so Night Owl Lacquer, that was the first time I tried them. So I went and I checked out their website, and they have got very reasonable prices for indie polishes, and their bottles are 15 milliliters, which is a good good quantity. Uh, this one is from Moonshine Manny, and it's called uh, Mandragora. Oh, this one was called Wither Rose. The theme for um, January... Oh, that's another thing that Polish Pickup does, is they have a theme around the polishes. And January's was um, Deadly Plants. And this one I thought was just absolutely hilarious because Mandragora is the, the, the plant that they work with in herbology, I think, or whatever, potionology in Harry Potter. It's, um, oh, wow. Look at that one. That's just the first coat. I think we're going to get some more color development on a second coat. Um, but in the bottle, it's like a golden hint of green shimmer. Uh, and that's from Moonshine Manny's. Um, this one is Garden Path Lacquers. And it's called Blessed with Beauty and Rage. And from memory, I can't tell you what poisonous plant that was named after or whatever they weren't all necessarily poisonous plants like someone used um the chomp plants in in super mario brothers as their inspiration for their uh, the piranha plants as the inspiration for their polish so it's it's a theme but you know they can have fun with it so this garden path lacquers is like a teal Scattered holographic, maybe it's scattered glitter in there. Um, hmm. I don't know how well this lighting is really showing off these polishes. Uh, well, maybe a second coat was will make these um, appear more true to their color. Um, this one is from Phoenix Indie Polish, and it's called Bulba. And so this is based on Bulbasaur from Pokemon. <laughs> and um, if I haven't mentioned it before, Scott and I are big Pokemon Go players. He's more than I am. <laughs> but uh, we play together, we go out on community days, we trade, it's fun. So I thought the Bulbasaur was a really cute um, inspiration for a deadly plant. I think that's what the, the theme was, like deadly plants. And this is just a soft green with a blue shimmer. And that's, oh yeah, I mean, look at how electric blue that shimmer is. And then that green in the background, that's pretty. Okay. I'm probably gonna think that they're all pretty because these are the ones that I picked out to order. <laughs> um, if you can hear that wind in the background, we're having um, some winter storm type stuff, but it's just wind. It's not, um, the rain was here the first two days I was here, but it's, it's mostly just wind now. Um, oh, so this polish here is from Cuticula. And it's called uh, Spur of the Moment. And it's based on the Lark Spur flower. Um, I don't know if it's the flower that's poisonous on the Lark Spur or if it's the leaves or the root or whatever, but that's what this one's based on. And I think that this one is just dazzling, right? I um, painted a swatch stick. I couldn't wait to make this video with you guys. And I painted a swatch stick with this one on it. 
um, it's definitely spotty on the first run. It's got kind of a jelly clear base, so don't discount it yet. It, this one needs to be built up in two, probably three layers. Um, okay, and then this one is from Hit the Bottle, and it's a stamping polish, which can also be used as a regular polish, and it's called Do Not Ingest. It's based on tobacco. <laughs> and their, their description said tobacco, the only product that will kill you if you use it as instructed or something like that um it's a nice that wind is blowing in hang on let me close this the um sliding glass door is cracked for airflow there we go okay okay i'm back so this one is like a milk chocolate brown it's a stamping polish but it obviously can also be painted on. And wow, that's opaque. And nice and self-leveling. Oh, it looks very dark brown on the camera. Here, let me see if I can... Oh, see, that's more of the true color, can I? It's correcting it very dark brown. It's, can you see the milky chocolate color in the bottle? That's the actual color. It's showing up much darker in this, uh, in this lighting. I might have to um, revisit this or just um, maybe take them out in the sun tomorrow and see if, they, if the lighting changes. Um, and then this last one that I bought is from Rogue Lacquer and it's called Bleeding Hearts. And um, we have the bleeding heart vine growing in our yard. So I might need to look at what part of that plant is poisonous. But this is just a beautiful lime green shimmer with, I think it might actually be the same shimmer that's in the spirit fingers or something similar to it. It's like a pink gold you can see the pink there there's some gold pink gold green shimmer I think is what pink green gold regardless it's beautiful okay so let's go back to the start and um, get a second coat real quick um, some of these I might hit with the top coat also because the top coat. So this one is reading very purple in this light. Um, here, let me try this. Is that reading more true to color? Mm. I'm using <laughs> the bedside lamp plus my ring light plus the overhead lamp. So I think I'm getting some mixed, mixed lighting here between like warm and cold lighting. But this one on that second coat, that's when the electric blue shows up. And I believe it's based on wolfsbane, which is a poisonous flower or plant, wolfsbane. And it's a, that's, you can see the blue much better now. It's just, it's so much brighter in person, I wish. Hmm. Well, I may have to redo this video, but I thought I could send you guys something <laughs> while I'm out here having fun. Um, we went to the beach yesterday, and we went to the beach again today, and I think I might have got the slightest bit of a sunburn today. Um, this one might be my... Oh, I don't know which one's my favorite. This one I think might be the first one that I wear. It's a charcoal gray with a holographic in there and then it's supposed to have a, a pink shimmer. And I still haven't really been able to catch the pink shimmer. Maybe it's only like a sunlight thing. 
but you can definitely see the hollow in there and it's more apparent in person. Again, I think this is just coming down to lighting, you guys. Um, okay, so back to the Moonshine Manny Mandragora. And this one, it's a very like, golden green, uh, ethereal looking. I don't know if I'm fond of this really thick brush. Like, I like a, a wide brush, but the stem on the brush is really thick as well, which kind of makes getting it in and out of the bottle not terribly hard, but not as easy as a skinny brush or a skinny um, stem on the brush. So that's a beautiful, shimmery, shifty polish. Okay. And then back to the Garden Path Lacquers. Blessed with beauty and rage. I it's just not ringing a bell what the uh, what their poisonous or noxious plant was. I think the thing that got me on the advertisement of this one was the teal glitter in it. Because it's like got a linear holographic, but then there's like a teal glitter in there as well. And it's just looking kind of gray on the camera. I might have to... So maybe I'll record this part of actually brushing them and then in the morning add on a clip of sunlight shots. This one looks really fun as well. I thought that it might take a while to get um, to become opaque, but it looks like two coats might have done it. Might need three in on a real nail. Hmm? I don't know. Okay. And then this cuticular one, it's got a, it's got a teal purple and blue, uh, I think they're flakes, then with a uh, hollow holographic in there too. I mean, it's really just like the whole kitchen sink. I wonder if maybe my phone is trying to correct for color with that white in the background too. That might be part of the problem. We'll be back in, in the craft room on, well, I get back to my island on Tuesday, and then I think I'll probably film something on Wednesday. Yeah, you can see that, that the color balance is just trying to autocorrect on my phone a lot. Sorry about it, guys. Okay. And then this one. I honestly don't think it needs a second coat. I mean, it's, mm, let's go ahead and do it just to have some continuity. And typically when I've been swatching at home, I will um, use that. I've been calling it the wrong thing for a while now, you guys, the brush work stamping plate and I'll put a brush stroke stamp right here and it'll tell me how it stamps you know how opaque it is whether it you know whether it stamps well or not okay and then this last one is rogue lacquer I think this one and the bulba are pretty similar in the the base green however the that one's got a blue shimmer and this one's got like a pink orange red shimmer that one is stunning i think that's going to be great for some springtime manis with a bright soft green and that that pink gold shimmer okay 
Let's see if any of these need a third coat. I think, I think a couple of them do. And then I'm gonna put a quick top coat on and then I might just wrap it up for tonight and see about sunshine shots in the morning. That one, just the, the shimmer in it is like electric blue. And then like cobalt around the edges, kind of purpley cobalt. Blurple, some say. Um, it's reading really kind of black on screen. It's definitely not. This one, I don't think needs a third coat. I think... I think it's solid. And that was the one from um, Night Owl Lacquer. And if you remember the last video I put out, I used their quick dry top coat that claims, you know, I think that's good in two. I might have to find out whether on the nail it needs three, but I think it's good in two. This one. I think that one's solid. I think the only one, the only other one that might need three is this one, because it is just flakes. I don't think the, the, the base color is very strong. I think it's like a jelly kind of see-through base, right? With a ton of color shifting flakes. Um, I have tried to figure out, I will say this about the cuticula bottle here. I don't know if it's just this one and it's faulty, but do you see all the polish around the mouth of the bottle and uh, up in there? When I very first got it home, it was like that. And I took the brush out, I cleaned the top, I cleaned the cap with um, acetone, um, and then I put it all back together again and it's already leaking again. So I'm going to pay attention to that. I hope it's not their brand's packaging for all of their stuff. I'm hoping that I just got one that just doesn't quite seal well. Um, okay, so putting top coat on, I think will be pretty boring for you guys to watch. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it now. Um, if you guys like this swatching video, I know it's a little different from what I normally do, but feel free to like it and uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I will top coat these off camera and then in the morning I'll try and take a sunlight tour and uh, show you the real dazzling sparkles. So until then, bye. <laughs>